okay so let us come to uh, rc circuit now and we are going to use the general solution remember in the general solution if we wanted to find anything so i am not changing f to x just to tell you that f is not important anything in the circuit general expression for that we know that that would be equal to the final value of that thing plus initial value minus its final value e raised power minus t over tau tau is something that is that describes the nature of the circuit so for an rl circuit it will be l over r and for rc circuit it is rc so if we now have to come up with a circuit that we have not studied but let us try to follow the same uh, general solution and try to instead of solving it the way we have handled rl circuit let us directly apply this to this case so now we have a capacitor and that is initially charged now a capacitor a charged capacitor can uh, can exist without being connected in another circuit but an inductor cannot exist without being connected in a circuit where the current flows because a, ch a charged in a way inductor must have a current flowing through it whereas a charged capacitor must only have a voltage across it so we know the initial voltage is v not or across this capacitor and we know that it is going to dissipate this stored energy in the resistor over time and here that all that discussion of the time constants are also relevant exactly in the same sense and we want to find the expression for the voltage across the resistor in this case across the sorry across the capacitor in this case also across the resistor as well so here what we have to find and important thing is we know that the capacitor was charged so no, we are not using the subscript c here vt vt has a value of v naught and a capacitor maintains its voltage we cannot suddenly change the voltage across a capacitor so the voltage just after suppose there would have been some switching here as well then suppose we had had a switch here that would close at t is equal to zero and the capacitor was charged before uh, closing the switch then just right after closing its voltage would still be v naught we know this property of the capacitor that it resists sudden change in voltage now we want to find the expression for vt and we have to find the final value of v that is the final value after a long time has passed across the capacitor plus the initial value minus the final value again into e raised power minus t over tau in this case tau is rc so for final value let us redraw the capacitor we know in uh, when a capacitor is left to act in a um, dc circuit for a long time it will ultimately open up because it is just two plates that are not even connecting so there cannot be a current flowing once things have settled down the displacement current and everything that cannot flow once there is no force in the circuit that that forces it to change voltage gradually so once the voltage stays there it does not change then derivative of voltage would be zero there will be no current flowing through the capacitor and no current flowing through the capacitor can be represented as an open circuit so in steady state capacitor becomes open circuit and when does this steady state set in usually in five time constants we assume that in five time constants a circuit 
uh, almost goes to the steady state. In in theory, uh, t must tend to infinity for steady state to set in. So this becomes open. This is R, and we are trying to find the voltage across this open because there was a capacitor here that has become open. The voltage at infinity. So what will be the voltage here if, if this is the circuit? Obviously, there is no source, no nothing. So basically, this V infinity will be zero. And what is this V zero plus? We already know it is V naught. So what are we going to get? Vt is equal to, we are going to get zero plus V naught minus zero e raised power minus T over RC or V naught e raised power minus t over rc those of you who want to try this out try using kvl or kcl and uh, come up with their differential equation solve it you are going to get the same thing by the way we have already done, done this but what we have not done is suppose now we have a similar circuit we have a capacitor uh, we have a voltage source v naught there is a switch now there is a capacitor that is not already charged. Zero state response. So we have a capacitor not already charged. So the voltage initially is zero, or we can write it like this. V, uh, if, if this is the thing that we are looking at for the response, then V zero minus is zero. And because the capacitor cannot suddenly change voltage across it, or we cannot change voltage suddenly across a capacitor. If we want to do so, we need infinite current, which usually is not possible. Uh, so we are going to, uh, not possible actually practically, but in theory, we can do that. We will come to that later on. So the voltage right after the switching is going to be zero as well. So now suppose we want to come up with an expression for this Vt. We know it's not going to be this, but there will be a steady state component there as well. So again, let us look at the general solution. Vt would be equal to V at infinity plus V initially minus V at infinity e raised power minus T over tau. And once again, this is a RC circuit. So tau is RC. How to find this tau basically? Whenever you come across RL or RC circuits, all the independent voltage sources must be shorted or opened up, like we have studied before. Short out, open the current sources, and then find the equivalent R and equivalent Cs and equivalent Ls, etc. And then ultimately, when you are left with Rs and Cs only, one R, one C, that tau will be that RC. That is the process. We will come to that later on when, when I am going to solve circuits. So tau here is RC. What is V infinity? Once again, at infinity, what happens? Things settle down. Everything attain its steady state. Uh, state. So how a capacitor behaves? Capacitor opens up. So what else is there in the circuit? Nothing is going to open up or short out because there is no energy storing element besides the capacitor here. So this is the capacitor. It opens up. We want to find this value here, the value of voltage here. And now because no current is going to flow, no voltage drop here. So this voltage V0 will appear here. So V infinity is V0. V infinity is V0 and V0 plus is zero. So what do we have here? Vt is equal to V0, zero. So what do we get here? Minus V0 e raised power minus t over rc. So this is the complete response. So what do we have here? Something exactly of the form that we saw earlier. So we have this part, one minus a decaying exponent and a constant. So remember we plotted for inductor. So if now in this case we want to charge a capacitor, so for a charging capacitor, the voltage across the capacitor is going to go something like this. 
and at, by uh, to which value it ultimately charges the value of the source voltage and it makes perfect sense so this is how the charging curve of a capacitor looks like so you see there is no differential involved in here there is no writing of kvl kcl etc here and coming up with derivatives and integrals and god knows what no it's very simple so rc circuits rl circuits are going to be solved with those that general solution that general solution is the key so if you remember that and you remember very simple things an inductor shorts in steady state a capacitor opens up in steady state so if you know this thing and you can solve uh, dc rc uh, uh, dc resistive circuits like we have been solving all throughout this course then you you are good to go you now know you now understand how rl and rc circuits can be solved and can work